Hey Scorpio, welcome to your end of January reading. So January 25th to oh, 31st. Um, if you are interested in a love or career specific reading, I have those available on Vimeo and the links are in the description under this video. So this is a lot. Well, that's okay. We got a stack of flyer cards. All right, let's see what's happening here. Okay. Wow. Um, okay, so interesting. This has been a common theme this week, I find. Uh, let's, okay, let's, we'll talk about the flyer cards after. Let's look at this here. So, um, there is there's something about relationships coming up so again i always feel like i need to tell people this if you're in a solid relationship and there's nothing wrong this just doesn't apply to you this is a general reading so fear not don't like break up with anyone because of this i mean no one would do that but i'm just saying um, i don't want ideas getting into your head but if you are in a fairly new relationship and you've made a connection with someone, um, or it could be, you know, someone you've been dating for a few months, it just feels like things aren't really working and that might come to an end. And I, I, I like to keep my readings positive, but that's just what's coming up. And what it is, is there's a real imbalance of there. Okay. I'll show you. Uh, we have the six of pentacles coming up. Okay, so you see this guy, he's helping the poor, giving him money and stuff. And he's got a balance in his other hand, if you can see that. Um, and it's as if um, one of you either, well, I feel like you, Scorpio, has been putting in way more effort than the other person and the balances have been fucked for a long time. So it's just, it's kind of getting to the point where you can't ignore it anymore and it's time to move on. And not only that, but like we have this card here, the Three of Swords. Uh, this sometimes can also have to do with infidelity but not necessarily, okay? It just could be that you're feeling really awful about this. And not only that, but because it's coming so close to the 10 of swords, which is reversed, you're having a hard time facing reality and letting go. Like, I get it. Breakups aren't easy. Um, and, you know, it doesn't mean you're going to get over it overnight, but it's almost like you're still clinging on to the relationship. Like, you're not doing anything about it. You're not walking away. You just are trying to make it work, trying to make it work. I also see that there is some, there's some shady shit going on. So aside from relationships, um, I'm going to say that Scorpio this week trusts your instincts, whether it has to do with relationships, business, family, whatever it is. If you feel like something isn't right, something isn't right. We've got the star card here, which is my card for, um, this is like my psychic card. And even though that's not what it means, it's just, that's my thing. And the fact that there's someone shady kind of skulking around, um, trust your gut, trust your psychic ability, trust your intuition, because if you feel like something ain't right, something ain't right. Now, I don't ever condone going relationship to relationship, but I do see there being a connection with someone from your past. So if you are in a happy relationship, no, I don't think you should hook up with someone from your past. So this could even be a friendship. I feel like you may reconnect with somebody from your past, which would be 
um, a really nice reconnection and will fill your soul and it's just it's really good so that is something sorry that's a bit of a side note um, but um, you know there's I don't know it's like your relationships with people this week are tough um, aside from this possible reconnection with a friend from the past there's a lot of fighting going on. There's a lot of disagreements going on. So you really need to navigate through this in the proper way. So you like, don't let people get a rise out of you. Fly under the radar if you can. Stay the fuck out of it. But there's just like, there are some untrustworthy people around. There are some pot stirrers around that are just looking for a fight this week. I don't know. But honestly, um, Scorpio, you're going to be fine. I mean, the chariot's here, so you are going to be victorious. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune as well, um, which is already turning. It Really, you don't have too much control, but it's for good. So, I mean... The Wheel of Fortune brings fortune. It's not Wheel of Shit. It's Wheel of Fortune. So this is a good thing. Another thing too, you're being advised not to try to control everything this week. Because you can't. You can't control other people's actions. You can't control other people's thoughts. And like it's a wasted energy if you're even thinking about that. So keep that in mind. It's It can be really tough. Like I get it. I... I understand. I worry about stuff I can't control. I I don't know. I, I totally understand. But you have to make sure you try to just take a deep breath and let go and just let it be. And the universe will sort it out. Let's see here. So, okay, I'm going to take back something I said in this reading, just because this is adding another layer. So I know, remember how I said uh, you would connect with someone from your past? I really don't think it's romantic. And I may have said it might be romantic. It's not. Um, we have a lot of love cards coming up, but I feel like this is the week to lean on your friends. You should be looking for friendship and love and feelings of love from the drunk bitches. There they are with their chalices, just drinking wine, doing whatever. But they're friends. Like, I feel like this is really a good week to get together for a girl's night. And I know it's COVID and it's really hard to do that. Um, I've said it in videos before, like I went for a parking lot date with my friend a couple weeks ago and it was honestly just fucking great. We sat in a parking lot in our own cars, um, you know, social distancing and all that, but it was just so nice to connect with someone and that's exactly what you need to do. You need to look for love from your friends, not from a partner this week. Um, very, very important. Um... Yeah. And like I said, this is like a source. This is like a source of healing for you. It will heal your heart that's feeling a little bit like this. So um, that is super, super important. What else do we have here? Um, and I think in general, so this was actually something that came up for Libra as well. Um, so you know how you were putting forth most of the effort in this relationship we were talking about. I also feel like just in life in general, make sure you aren't the one always putting in the effort in friendships and at work or picking up the slack for other people. You need to really work on that balance. I feel like people come to expect certain things from you even though maybe you did them a solid once and now they're like, oh, can you just do it again? Because you can. So be very careful about stuff like that. You need to keep your boundaries in check. So Scorpio, that is your reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe and like uh, this video if you did. And if you didn't, don't want to hear about it. Um, 
but be good and behave and I will see you next week. So Scorpio, that's bye-bye for now.